To get into your checklist, you go to the in-game menu up here, click on the check mark. And there are two different windows I'd like to show you. First is the glossary page, which shows you every single page that you'll need to do. Everything from pre-flight inspection to landing, parking, securing. And then there is the checklist page itself. So the checklist page will only be one page in particular, and then it will show you all the items that need to be done. Uh, you can go forward to other pages and back to previous pages. Let's go ahead and start with the glossary first. So here on the glossary page, you'll see the check mark shows you that that particular page has been completed. Uh, none of the other pages have been completed because there's no check mark there. Over here, you can see the items. So there are 23 items on that uh, page and 23 items have been completed. Here we have two items completed out of eight and the rest are zero uh, out of however many there are for each page. So if we go into the page, we can see this one is done. So let's go into the before starting engine. And here, once again, it shows up here, two of eight have been completed. Two of eight uh, items have been completed. And over here, same thing, check marks. Here are the two items that have been completed. Here are the other six that have not been completed. And you can see right here is the name of the particular page you are on. And then this one shows you that you can go to the previous page. This one shows you that you can go to the next page. So you can go through here. All 23 of 23 have been done. Two of eight have been done. Continue on, zero of 18 have been done. So that's pretty much how you use that. Uh, the reset page will remove these check marks here. Now, the one thing to note is that if something in the checklist tells you to, let's say, turn on the lights, if you turn the lights on and you reset the page, it won't necessarily reset what's been done in the cockpit. So I don't suggest resetting the page because it's important that everything is fresh. Otherwise, some things may be on that aren't supposed to be on or some things may be off that aren't supposed to be off. Once you're in a particular page and you want to go back to the glossary, you just have to come up to this button right here, click it, and it will bring you back to the glossary. And like we mentioned before, you can click on any page here. There are a few different ways that you can complete each item on the checklist. Uh, one is to hand over the checklist responsibilities to the co-pilot. Another is the autocomplete function, also the evaluation, and the tick item function. We'll go over each one of those. So first off is the co-pilot. We can hand over all the responsibilities to him or her. So if we click here in the AI control, this will pop up. Checklist assist needs to be on. And then we turn on control aircraft. And you'll see as soon as I do that, the co-pilot will take over and turn the engine on. And the co-pilot will actually continue to do everything that it can. As long as there is a checklist for it, they will continue on. Uh, also, the manage radios and comms, if you turn that on, then they'll manage that and move forward through the process. So that's one option that you have. Another option that you have is the autocomplete function. And as you can see, we have the autocomplete page and the autocomplete item. In order for these to be available, we do need to have the checklist assist on. So remember, come up to the in-game in AI control, make sure that the checklist assist is on. And I'll show you what both, both of those look like. Basically, uh, it will go through that exact item or the entire page all by itself. So I'll click here on the first item and we'll tick the item. Aircraft documents, check. And then if there's something that needs to be done, it'll actually do it for us by hitting the autocomplete item. Parking brake, set. Just like that. And if we want to go through the entire page, we can, cl we can click the autocomplete page. And that entire page has been done. The next option you have is the evaluation function down here. And again, we do need to have checklist assist on. So you come up here to the end game menu, come to the AI control, make sure that that is turned on. Just going to go ahead and close this window. And what evaluation does is it speaks it out orally. 
And if there is no function to do, then it moves on to the next. If there is a function to do, then as soon as you do that function, it will move on to the next item. So I'll go ahead and show you what that looks like. I'll go ahead and hit evaluation. Throttle. It moves you Open exactly where it needs to be, and Fixture. it tells you what to do. Idle cutoff. So it's already at quarter. Switch. So it went on, and it's already at idle cutoff, so it went on. But now it has a function that we need to do. It says we need to test hold for 20 seconds. That means I need to hold this for 20 seconds. But one thing that you can do instead of actually clicking over here, you can do auto complete item like we were talking about before and it will continue forward. And if you don't want to wait, we have to wait for 20 seconds. You can click this here force finish. STBY bat switch. And it will continue on from there. Uh, one thing that you can do if you want to pause there you can hit pause and then it brings you back to the three options that we have. So the last way to get through your checklists is to manually tick each item. And as you can see down here, that option is not available. You actually have to turn off the checklist assist. So at that point, you won't be able to do autocomplete or evaluation. Uh, it's gonna go over to manually doing it yourself. And you have to actually go to the glossary, come back in, and it will show up. So let's say I wanted to change back over to checklist assist options, click it here. Uh, it will not change automatically. You have to come to the glossary, come back in to more or less refresh the page. So let's go back over to tick item. And there we go, tick item is the only option you will have down here. So now you have to manually do it yourself. There still is the eyeball, which helps out. As you can see, the eyeball is pointing right here and you do still have a bit of an explanation down here. So set battery to arm position and verify that the primary flight display comes on. So here's the PFD or primary flight display. Here's this battery, click it over to arm, make sure that it comes on and it will not manually tick it for you. You do have to tick the item, say yes indeed it did happen. And then you can move on to the next and sometimes you'll click and there will be nothing here. You might want to read uh, what it says, check parameters and verify no red X's are displayed through the engine page indications. So there are no red X's. Um, so this is something that you do need to have a little bit more awareness of your cockpit. It might be good to go through the other checklists first and uh, see how the co-pilot does it. And once you get familiar with the cockpit, then you can go ahead and move on to doing it yourself like this. Thanks for joining us for this video. Like we said before, we do post to YouTube, but our premium content is found in the link below.